I don't like this snow. I don't like the direction that she's going in. She got a little power and she's acting funny. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? Okay, I kind of want to hear what they're saying. You know what was going on to me. I had to get a job, and you wouldn't have it. Don't make it into something it wasn't. It's the principle of it. Don't act like you weren't keeping secrets too. Yeah. If you're going to bring up ancient history, I don't have to stand here and listen. Fine, go off in a huff. I'm, I'm through talking anyway. Okay. Uh, I just want to hear their conversation. Because <laughs> normally oh. I barge in. What do you want? What do you mean? Y'all called me. Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Why are you being a hater? I didn't Listen, do nothing with her. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Okay. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about oh it all gosh. night long from her. How is Who this is my it? problem, sir? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get Beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? You attacked me. Like, stop acting like you're the victim. You attacked me. Man. It's your pal, Big B. Why are you hating? Please excuse us Such for a just hater. a minute. Sure. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Okay, so I'm just supposed to be roaming around their house, I guess? All right, sure. Just let me <sighs> roam around your house. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodland. I can already wow. tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into the speak. Okay, let's not I break things. We can trust him. Not after the way he oh. went behind my back. And then you run mm. and call him again. Talk what about living in the past. Do. Seriously. He was secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. Didn't have to no, you can't. You. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Yeah, can we talk? Please? Look, I'm tired of this. Okay. I'm tired of hearing y'all argue. Let's talk. Let's get Sorry. to business. It's been a long night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. Okay. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. Oh, what do you mean nice by stuff. that? Feast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Seriously. Is this something about that loan you took out from the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So we should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. Seriously? I gotta know one thing first. What if we what? did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get him? And all this comes back on us. Okay, it's a possibility. A We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. We're just looking for a little peace of mind in this. You are in danger. You two need to cooperate so I can get the Crooked Man off the street. You don't want to be next. Seriously. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own. No, please don't. Then I mean, tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt. Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that 
We had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's yeah. not a lot of work out there. We know. Who would we be if we just lived like... What, like everyone else? <laughs> You're living in the past, Beast. You're living in the past. Okay, you guys Hi have there. no money. You've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Oh my uh, gosh. Let me just step. A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beach okay. and we'll get back to you. I want to hear it. the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. What? Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Who was that? You know who that was. Don't hold out on me. Seriously. We've been getting horrible phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people. Trying to collect, and we aren't safe. Even in our own home. We owe some money. Some. Finally. Thank you. All I this care is about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? Yeah. Come on, spit it out. The lucky pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. Okay. The crooked man's behind that place. Okay. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, yeah. No? That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I know. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. He does not. Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess Maybe. I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... Hmm. You know that butcher shop? The cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Okay. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. Mm -hmm. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. Oh my gosh. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I needed work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. Okay. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But okay. I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know. I, I try to avoid her. But As I don't you should. need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. I don't blame him for that, but we shouldn't can't. have to live like this. You should scraping to get by. None of us should. I agree. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, 
I'd like to know where it's coming from. Well, you can't be concerned about that. I gotta go handle my investigation. Oh, man. Oh, I gotta choose. <laughs> oh, gosh. They always do this to me. I don't know. I don't know which one I should do. Should I go to the pawn shop or the butcher shop? 